What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title today, we are... I have lipstick all over my teeth. <sighs> What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, today we are going to be doing this very easy, fun, festive holiday look. I'm really excited. I've been dying to do a makeup tutorial with a bright red lip and I figured that with Christmas coming up, this was a perfect time. But before we get started with the makeup tutorial, I wanted to make an exciting announcement that this December, actually this week, I will be doing my very first holiday giveaway. I actually have all of the items sitting here in my lap. I am very fortunate enough that I get to test out a lot of makeup and I have a whole arsenal. So I thought that it would be super fun for me to share some of my passion and some products that I love with you guys. So like I said, there's makeup, hair care, skin care. We have brands like Tarte, Anastasia, Morphe. We have some drugstore brands. There's Smashbox, Lily Lashes, like the whole nine. There's a ton of great stuff in this box and I'm so excited that I get to share it with one of you. So if you're interested in participating in this giveaway, be sure you stay tuned till the end of the video and I'll let you know rules for entry. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this makeup look. <laughs> All right, first things first, I'm taking my Too Faced concealer in the shade Vanilla and just placing this all over my eyes. This is gonna help us create a nice even base for our eyeshadows to lay down. And I'm just gonna blend this out with a Real Techniques sponge to cancel out any redness or discoloration I may have on my eyelids. And this will also make our shadows appear more pigmented and true to color. Taking scotch tape like usual, I'm just going to place this in the corners of my eyes so that way we can get a nice sharp eyeshadow look without a ton of effort and clean up is much easier at the end. Going into my Too Faced Natural Matte Palette, I'm going to take the shade Cashmere Bunny and this is going to make my transition shade. I'm just going to messily place this a little bit above the crease. Going into the shade below it called Strapless, I'm going to place this in the same spot, just darkening up that color a little bit more so that it's one shade darker than our skin tone. Again, you don't need to be neat with this, just get the color on there evenly. Now taking Fawn from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm just going to place this a little bit lower with a really fluffy crease brush and I'm going to concentrate this in the outer corner to start to carve out and define our eye. Taking Coco Bear from ColourPop, I'm going to place this in the same spot with a smaller brush making sure that I keep it really tight and close to that tape. We want to almost create a sort of wing shape with the brown eyeshadows. Taking Smoke from ABH, I'm now going to place that in the exact same spot just deepening up the crease. This is as dark as we're going to go and I'm just keeping that really low to the tape and blending that inward. Taking a clean blending brush, I'm just buffing all those colors together and making sure that there's no harsh lines. Now going in with Makeup Geek Shima Shima, I'm just going to messily pat this all over my eyelid just to brighten everything up. Then I'm going to go ahead and remove the tape, which is really satisfying. Moving on to face, I'm taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer and just spreading this evenly all over my face. And then going in with my All Hours Foundation from YSL, I'm just going to blend this evenly all over my face, dragging it down my neck, making sure that everything matches and is really well blended. Taking my Too Faced concealer again in the same shade Vanilla, I'm just going to conceal my under eyes and highlight the high points of my face and blend that out with the same sponge as usual. Make sure you're being really nice and cautious around that eye area. Taking my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Mocha, I'm just going to use this to cream contour, so carving out my cheekbones. I'll use this on my forehead, on my nose, and under my lip to give the illusion of a fuller lip. And then I'm just going to blend this out with a Real Technique sponge. You can use the same sponge for your entire face. It's super easy, and this stuff blends really, really well. Taking my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit, I'm just going to set that match stick. So again, carving out my cheekbones. I'll use this to bronze my forehead, use this on a smaller brush to carve out my nose, and just make sure that all of our cream products are really nice and set down so they don't budge. Taking this Clinique Cheek Pop in the shade 05 Nude Pop, I'm just going to place this on my cheekbones. This just adds a little bit of sheen and a tiny bit more color, nothing too drastic that will clash with our lipstick. Going in with my Jelly Beam Highlighter from Farsali. This product is so fun. I'm going to apply this to the tops of my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid's bow just to highlight all the high points of my face. Now that our face makeup is finished, I'm going to go in with my MAC Prep and Prime to make sure that our lips are prepped for a bright lip color. 
Going back to eyes, I'm taking this Urban Decay eyeliner in the shade Whiskey and I'm just going to place this in the outer third of my eye to give us that winged cat eye open eye effect. Going back into the Natural Matte Palette, taking the shade Sexpresso, I'm just going to blend all of that out and mix it with Risqué on a large blending brush to get that nice fade smoky effect. I'm just adding a few coats of mascara to my top and bottom lashes. My two favorites are the Benefit Bad Gal and Too Faced Better Than Sex. Now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with the ABH Dip Brow Pomade in Ash Brown. Taking this Makeup Forever Starlet Powder in the shade 13, I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eye and the brow bone just to make sure we're really bright and awake looking. And to set the remainder of our face, I'm going to go in with my iconic London Prep Set Glow Spray and just set everything down while giving us a nice dewy finish. Taking my Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Illuminati, you guys, this is insane. It is such a bright, vivid highlight. I'm just going to set that Farsali highlighter and highlight the high points of my face. Now I'm going to apply some Lily Lashes in the Style Roam. They are just really fluttery and wispy and they're super comfortable to wear. Wiping away that MAC Prep and Prime, I'm getting my lips prepared for our red color. And to line them, I'm taking the Essence Lip Liner and this is just a bright red one. And I'm just finishing off the lips with the Fenty Beauty Lip Paint in Uncensored. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's going to conclude this makeup look. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All right, now if you stuck around this long to learn about the giveaway, thank you so much. And I want to let you know that there are four things that you're going to have to do in order to qualify for an entry. So the first thing is subscribe to me on YouTube. The second thing is follow me on Twitter. The third thing is follow me on Instagram. And the fourth thing is going to be like this Instagram picture. So I will be checking to make sure that you did all four of those things. I will also post a picture on Instagram where I show the full layout of the products so you can see what you might be winning. My goal is to have winners announced next Monday. So you will have a few days and over the weekend to get your entries in. Unfortunately, I'm not accepting international or double entries. So you can only enter once and you must be in the US and you must be 18 years or older. Good luck. I'm really, really excited about this. Like I said, this is my first holiday giveaway. And if it goes well, then we might be doing a few more in the future. So again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Just fine before I met you I drink too much and that's an issue But I'm okay